What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of iFishLI. Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to fish for stripers from the surf. This is what my setup that I'm using tomorrow looks like. It's a 10 foot rod with a, um, I think this is like a 6,000 um, Okuma bait runner setup. I'm just going to quickly explain the importance of the bait runner before I show you guys the rig. So this, this is the difference between a uh, normal spinning reel and a bait runner. After you, the, um, you uh, cast the uh, bait out, you flip this up and what it does, it loosens up the drag so when the fish take it, they can kind of run with it a little, but you'll still see the, um, the, the tip like getting taps. So, um, they'll like not really notice that they're, they're, um, like hooked until they, um, until you get to the rod and start reeling. Since I always use circle hooks, they're still not going to get gut hooked. Even if they swallow it a little bit, it should end, still end up hooking them in the corner of the mouth. So here's what the rig looks like that I'm using. This right here is what makes it a fish finder rig. It's just something you slide on the main line before you tie the swivel on and you clip the um, the sinker to here and then the, the leader line with the hook can um, drift in the current and it's a really nice presentation for fish to pick off. So you can either put clams on here, bunker, all different types of things. You can also use this rig for bluefish and swap it out with a wire leader. It's a really great rig for the surf. Um, you guys should definitely try it out if you want to use bait in the surf. I'm probably going to swap out this leader line and um, tie a different smaller hook on for tomorrow because the fish in the surf are still pretty small. I'll let you guys know what pound test I'm using and what size hook I'm going to be using. Definitely going to be a circle hook to uh, save these fish. Alright guys, see you guys tomorrow when I'm down at the water. Probably going to get there pretty early. It's going to be Easter, so my mom wants me to be home kind of early tomorrow so I can't fish all day. But hopefully you can get on some fish. Also, I just wanted to quickly say all of the items that I'm using in this video will, will be linked in the description like they always are. So check them out on Amazon if you want to get them. What's up guys, it's about 5.50 a.m. about to hit the surf. Pack in the car now. Already took nice hook to the thumb. Yeah. All right. So I just got down to the spot. It's absolutely beautiful sunrise right now. Um, so I got my sand spike in, and I've got my clams in there. I'm gonna get set up in one second and cast it out. We're gonna do a little time lapse. Um, so. If any of you have watched the Bob the Garbage Man video, the only thing that is wrong with this video, uh, with this uh, picture, is that I've got the sand spike and I'm using clams. You would not be too happy with that, so if you haven't seen Bob the Garbage Man video, definitely go check it out.
right here, those of you that don't know, is a skate. Honestly, this might be a new species of skate. I've never seen one like this before. Um, it's got a different pattern than the ones I usually catch. Okay, so in that last clip, I think I just caught my uh, 40th species on my life list, which would, um, was what I believe might be a little skate, not, not like a small skate, that's the name, a little skate. Um, so that'd be pretty cool. I gotta confirm with um, some other people that know better than me or just do some research on it, but I'm pretty sure that's a little skate. So that'll be my 40 species on my life list, which is pretty awesome. But now let's go get a striper. Another skate, the only thing I want to eat right now is these little skates. Alright, so I didn't end up catching any stripers today, but I think that's because um, a lot of those, the stripers in the surf right now are very small. So a better setup for me today probably would have been a high-low rig with bloodworms, but I had clams, so I was just working with what I had. Um, that still is a very good rig for... Um, early season bass. The fish finder rig is a really, really good rig for surf fishing. You can also use it for uh, bunkers. I really do love the fish finder rig. It's a great rig. You guys should definitely try it out when you're um, fishing with bait from the surf. Um, it's, a, it's a shame I didn't catch any schoolies today, but it's all right, it's whatever. I think I did catch a new species today. That'll be my 40th species. I'll update you guys on my Instagram account when I know for sure. So thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe.